Sensors buried. Stand by for incoming readings. It's beautiful, Lisa. Is beautiful even in your vocabulary? Seismo sensor readings are coming in now. We're definitely getting some activity. But Joseph, how is it possible? Kaula hasn't shown volcanic activity in five million years. How is it possible so far from the hot spot? Joseph. Joseph? Lisa, I think a submerged volcanic shelf has surfaced. There are new islands out here. When does Landon arrive? He's flying in soon. We'll need his help running some tests. So sorry, sir. We're actually preparing to land. Do you mind bringing your seat forward and putting your tray table up? Thank you. Thank you. How can you sleep through this noise? Practice. Don't you know it isn't polite to stare? Tony, sit down, please. I'm sorry about that. It's all right. No harm. Hank, right? You look like a Hank. Uh, actually, it's a... Uh, it's Jim. Jim Cartlett. Jennifer. And you've already met Tony. you've been married oh we're not yet I just like to wear it <laughs> feels like we are anyway I took time off my auto body shop to meet her for a little pre-wedding vacation oh that's nice you known each other a long time then six months now oh, I know it's a little crazy but... uh, there's nothing crazy about it if you don't know and then the first month that she's the one then you'll never know Control, this is 7389. We may be experiencing some technical difficulties, as our radar shows a heavy storm cloud, but our reports show very little turbulence. Can you confirm? Control, can you confirm? The radio is malfunctioning. Control, this is 7389. Do you copy? I guess we missed it. Sir. Oh, great. Um, my Wi-Fi is acting a little janky. Would you mind checking it out? Maybe seeing if uh, you can fix it? Mm, no, I'm sorry. You actually have to turn that off and put your tray table up for landing. Oh, sorry. It's okay. 
Can I take that for you? Burn? No, I'm sorry, sir. We're out. God, my kid. I hate flagging. My apologies. It's, just, it's the altitude. We'll be descending soon, though. Control? Captain. Radio's down. Down? That's not what scares me. What's that? How long it's been down. Are they dead? 
unconscious. That's all anybody needs to know right now. We need the pilot out of the seat. You okay? Don't touch me! Sorry, I just, I thought you were hurt. Sure you're gonna be okay? No. anything this big? No. Uh, the largest I've ever flown is a, a, a King Air. Nine-seater. Great. It's stuck on autopilot in a constant loop. Yeah, to prevent terrorist takeovers, they installed an encoded autopilot system. Yeah. And of course he knew all the codes. No. Mr. Spare knew them too. I study volcanoes, and uh, I doubt this is the worst. In fact, I think they're just waking up. Keep your distance, and uh, don't fly us too close, or you'll cook us. There's no chance of that because the autopilot loop, right? I hope so. Can you move that thing? There's a little bit of movement in the wheel. I might be able to force it to maneuver. of flying over that thick ash cloud. That'll destroy our engines. We're gonna have to ride it out. Yeah. And pray we don't get any aftershocks. Hey, Tully, wait up. Uh, Flash, what happened to you? Breakfast in the mess hall happened. Yeah, and what do I say? I said, don't eat the gravy. It's biscuits and gravy. You can't have one without the other. Just don't let the old man see you like this. Oh, look alive, Tully. They're calling all hands. Overheard Colonel Riker mention a volcanologist. Doesn't make sense. What does Riker want with a volcanologist? Guess we'll find out. Is that full of radar readings for 0600? Not yet. Well, your input and your information will be helpful, Doctor. If you can, please fill in my executive officer, Livingston. We can send you on your way. Button! Button! As you were, sir. Dr. Lisa Widmore called in the disaster. Listen, Doc, if there were any volcanic activity, we would already know all about it. Sir, we're picking up readings out there, and it's big. Is it a storm? 
Excuse me, Colonel, but you're not looking at a storm. You're looking at an eruption column. What? Kaula has been a dead volcanic island for millions of years until now. Colonel, my colleague was on that island when it erupted. Please let me help. If you want to help, you can fill in my exo with everything you know, starting with how did this dead island suddenly wake up? My colleague had a similar theory. Mount Kilauea has not shown activity for over a year, but after 30 years of activity, that pressure has to go somewhere. Sometimes there are connecting passages uh, where, where heat and pressure travel along the crust. Massive amounts of pressure are forcing submerged volcanoes to come to the surface. Colonel, this is only the beginning, and it's only gonna get worse. I am the best that you have. You need me here. Get set up. Keep me informed. Thank you, sir. Sir, 10 minutes ago, I was notified Lihue Airport lost contact with one of their airliners coming in from LAX, 40 miles off course. This would put it just minutes after the eruptions. They overshot their destination. They're flying blind into a disaster and need immediate rescue assistance. I cannot initiate an air rescue over erupting volcanoes and risk my men. As of now, this island is in a state of emergency. Understood. I can notify the island. Evacuation can be underway as soon as you give the order, sir. Get on it. Get Johnson on the ground to handle the evac. Sir, with your permission, I'd like to assist in the evac. Specialist, I appreciate your ambition, but you're not ready, son. Get back to your radio. Yes, sir. What are you waiting for? Make your calls. Listen, Krieger. Do 
yourself a favor. Shut up, sit down, or I put you down. You're gonna wanna get your people to Oahu. You need to get them out of the volcano's range. I think that's a good place to start. Be back just within the hour. Good. Secondly, you're gonna wanna shoot a probe into one of the volcanoes. If you think I'm gonna send one of my men near those... All I'm suggesting is that we launch a probe into one of the volcanoes so I can better understand them. What exactly can we learn from this probe? Oceanic temperatures, aerial temperatures, seismic disturbances. I may be able to predict what they'll do next. How's it go, people? 15 minutes to airborne. Sir, what about the commercial airliner, sir? We may get a visual of it. If we do, that'll help us better coordinate a rescue. Until you get someone on the comm, focus on your current mission, soldier. Yes, sir. See, all these lines are connected to a link, which is then routed to a satellite down to a designated target. Now, right now, that link is being rejected because the communications are down. It's kind of like an unregistered user trying to gain access, you know? But if I can bypass that link to the satellite, I might allow ourselves access. This will work? Well, I'll let you know. Good. Special study. What's the status on the evac of Niha? Not great, sir. They're running into a few snags. The locals think they can handle it themselves. I don't care if they have to drag people by their feet. Get it taken care of and get their asses back to base. Understood? Sir, the bird is inbound. Niha Control, this is Delta 2 at 1. Approaching target. I have visual. Sir, we have picture. Delta 2-1, prepare to launch. Roger that, Delta 2-1. Interesting. What? The lava. It's superheated, not very dense. The lighter the density, the more likely it is to stay airborne. Delta 2-1, you are clear to launch when ready. Roger. Delta 2-1, launching probe in three, two, one, fire. <laughs> Good. Get him back to base. Roger that, Delta Wait, 2. We have control. I have a visual of. Delta 2 1, say again. A thick cloud. Moving fast. That cloud isn't just moving fast, it's clocking in at 300 knots. Tell them to get out of there now. Delta 2 1, return to base. I repeat, return to base. We have control. Come in, come in. Delta Here's 2 me. 1, get out of there now. Do you read me? Oh my god. Lost Captain LB. It's still coming. It's 30,000 meters from Nihau in closing. 20,000 meters. Who's on the shore? We need to send out our boys and evacuate the coastal area. It's too late. You need to call beach control and have everyone leave now. Do it! Sir. 
What about everyone living on shore? Your shores are the new Pompeii. All civilians that are still alive, get them to safety. Evacuate. Rita, Top Gun needs you. He has an idea. Damn it. Are you okay? Yeah. I need you to come inside for a second. Reach underneath that panel, okay? Is your hand fit inside there? Uh, I think so. Okay, look in there and tell me what you see. Oh, it's a mess in here. There's gonna be a circuit breaker in there somewhere, okay? There's like two ways to override this autopilot. And we lost one, that is the other one. Hey, I don't think I can do no, this. You can, okay? Just reach in there and feel around. So careful, oh. careful, careful. Oh, okay, okay, I think I found a circuit breaker. Okay. Oh my god, there's so many switches. Which one is it? Okay, it's gonna look completely different than the other switches. It's gonna be either color-coded or it's gonna be a totally different switch altogether. Do you see anything like that? Yeah, yeah, I see it. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna do it. So that means there's no way of fixing this. We're stuck in autopilot. Break your hand. That'll be fine. That was close. Yeah. It's just the beginning. Look. More good news. How long do we have? Ten hour at best. 
Well, what do we do? We need to check on Landon, see if he's making any progress. minored in genius, but I majored in awesome. It's ready to transmit. So it works. Only one way to find out. Uh, uh, Mayday, May, Mayday. Mayday, Mayday, this is flight 7389. Flight 7389 requesting immediate emergency assistance. I repeat, this is flight 7389 requesting immediate emergency assistance. Trust me. Get somebody on the line. Okay. Oh. Honey? Yeah. Honey, are you okay? Okay, okay. Yeah. He'll be okay. Yeah. Hey, little buddy. Hey. Yeah. Hey, uh, I'm gonna get you some water, all right? Yeah. There should be some motion pins back on. are dead. Rick has endangered us all. He dumped the fuel and who knows if we have enough. I say, let the other pilot do what it's made to do, not him. Depressurized. Think about that. Don't mind the smell. What trick? What? I said, watch Rick. And watch him close. Keeping me in here isn't gonna stop him from killing us all, Marshal. Beautiful family. Where are they now? Is 
He's detained. Good. You okay? Yeah. Thank you for that. Well, my pleasure. I'm gonna ask you this only once. Should have heard the distress call by now, right? The kid's driving. No doubt about that. This is flight seven three eight nine, requesting immediate emergency assistance. Do you copy? Mayday, Mayday, this is flight 7389. Requesting immediate emergency assistance. Is there anybody out there? Mayday, Mayday, this is flight 7389. Requesting immediate emergency assistance. Do you copy? Flight number on that lost airliner again? Flight 7389. Why? I think I just found them. Colonel Riker, sir! The airliner. We've made contact. Sir! You're gonna wanna hear this. That's Landon. That's his flight. You know him? He's a friend. He was supposed to fly in today to meet us. Vaughn, get a hold of him. Yes, sir. Where are they? That's the thing, sir. Thatch? Yes, sir. They're in the seventh circle of hell. They're lucky to be alive. You've got to do something. We are in the middle of evacuating everyone from this island. That's our priority. With all due respect, sir, this is how we make it right. We save as many as we possibly can. Even if we initiate an evac rescue mission, the probability of us penetrating that wall of fire is unlikely. Honestly, we are talking about a random erupting wall. It's risky, but I'm not saying it's impossible. Flight 7389, come in 89. This is Nihau Joint Task Force Operation 17. I got someone. I got someone. I, someone's transmitting to us. Uh, yes, hello. Um, uh, come in. This is flight 7389. You're alive. Uh, who is this that I'm speaking with? Is this Landon? Yes, this is, uh, this is Landon. Uh, how, how do you know me? You know me? I, that's right. I have your, uh, colleague, Dr. Whitmore, here. Lisa, boy, do I owe you. Yeah, okay, we're with it. Uh, my name is Private Vaughn. Uh, can you tell me what your situation status is? Uh, sure. Situation status. Uh, uh, we lost both our pilots. Uh, we nearly crashed. Uh, we nearly blew up. And there's this guy up here who is super close to a psychotic meltdown. Um, oh, and we're flying in the middle of a ring of volcanoes. Do you have thoughts? Okay, roger that. Uh, can, what's your altitude and your fuel like? Um, our altitude? Uh, around 10,000 feet. Okay. Um, we're around 10,000 feet, uh, but we have lost a lot of fuel. Okay, roger that, Landon. Sit tight for a second. Okay, sure. Tully, sir, they're out of fuel. Patch them through.
Brandon? It's Lisa. Lisa. Boy, it's good to hear your voice. Just hang in, okay? You're gonna be fine. Okay, uh, we'll do our best. And Landon? Who rocks? You rocks. <laughs> Landon, you're out of fuel? Uh, not yet, but uh, we don't have a lot left. I'd say probably less than an hour. Okay, Landon. This is Colonel Riker. He's gonna tell you what to do. <clears throat> Son, just relax. Keep everyone calm and sit tight. We're gonna do everything in our power to get you out of there safe. Okay, uh... Just one thing, I... Based on my readings on the last quake, I, I don't think we have a lot of... Landon. Landon? We've lost calm, sir. Damn it! The ash cloud is causing interference. Sir, I am urging you to reconsider the rescue. Stand down, Special. Those people will die up there if you don't do something. Then they're dead in the air! I give the orders around here. And my men are not dying today. Colonel, please speak out of line one more time. And you will be begging me for a court-martial when I'm done with you. Yes, sir. If you boys are done, I've got something. Our probe is picking up rising sea temperatures and seismic activity in ascending intervals. What does that mean? Meaning it's counting down. Counting down to what? Well, considering the quake's source duration and magnitude. The crust can only take so much pressure before the magma builds and punches through. You mean another eruption? Yeah, yeah, more massive than all the others. And then what? We lose. Colonel, can I talk to you over here for a second? Come with me. We are saving those people. Period. But we don't have authorization from Colonel Riker. We do now. Besides, Riker's busy with the island. That looks like the real thing. Riker can't save them, but we can. I am not letting anybody else die today, understood? The people I care about are on that plane, so you can't do this without my help. Okay. First, we get that tanker. this plane with that engine clocked? No, not unless we fix it. Yeah, but how? You send me out there. I can unclog that and get her going. Can we even open that door? By well, 10,000 feet, and if I ease back on the throttle, yeah, we can. What, are you serious? You have a better idea. I don't need my bag. It has my tools in it. Even if you do unclog it, that engine's gonna immediately try to suck you right back in. I'm seeing my wife and going on vacation. Yeah. I took time off my job, but I'm more likely to get flat working on the car, she says. This isn't any different.
Okay, here we go. Steady. Easy now. Easy, easy. Hold steady. Inbound bogey, multiple bogeys heading right for us. Hello, is anyone there? Uh, we just lost someone and two of our engines are out. Do you copy? Is anyone there? Why isn't anyone answering? Hello, is anyone there? We read you. It's possible for a 747 to fly on two engines, but you may be too heavy. If you lose another one, you'll glide down and eventually crash. What about the luggage? We can dump all that. Do it! We're gonna hit hard down here. Get those engines inside!
Still too heavy. Our plane, what can I get rid of? Something, something useless we don't need anymore. Krieger would be nice. <laughs> Look out! Professionally. I buckle under official status. We've stopped descending at 4,000 feet. Whew. Excuse me, Colonel. May I ask you something? Just over here. Let's make it quick. trying to reach you. We managed to level the plane out. How'd you do that? Uh, we took off two of the engines. Uh, wow. Uh, okay, uh, what's your altitude? Uh, 4,000 feet. Let's call a little close for our tanker. We're gonna call them off. Don't worry, we still got rescue coming. What? Call off that tanker. It's way too dangerous. Well, I sure hope you're sending someone equally as crazy. Don't worry. We're getting our best. All right, uh... What's your ETA? When can I expect you? Give me 15 minutes. 15 minutes, Ray. Okay, that's cutting it a little close. I think we've only got about 30. Roger that. Tully, out. <sighs> Please let me be wrong. This is Bravo 25, inbound. Roger that, Bravo 25. You boys be careful out there, huh? Roger, control. Targets in sight, Nihal Control. Roger that, Bravo 25. Tread lightly once inside. Walk in the park. I see an opening control. Bravo 25 going in. Control, we are in. Roger that, Bravo 25. Do you have visual of the package? Roger, Control. We have visual. Roger that, Bravo 25. Good luck. Bravo 25 setting her under the cargo hold. Landon? Our rescue plane is right below you. You're gonna have to lower passengers from your cargo hold, understand? Okay, I'm getting everyone together now. Hey, help's here. They want us in the cargo hold. You're kidding. No, I don't joke about rescues. All right, I'll catch up. Bravo 25, collecting the package. Roger that. Receiving a first 
passenger. Roger that, Bravo 25. Are you good? Stay right here, all right? Control, we're losing daylight out here. You're gonna be all right. Almost there, you got it. Air control. Roger that, Bravo 25. What do you got? The ash cloud's giving off some heavy electrical activity. Bravo 25, double time it. Copy. You! Sir! We're getting the passengers on the rescue plane. Vaughn, pull up on the screen. Double time it, William. We need to get out of here. All right. You ready, buddy? Give us two minutes, sir, please. All right, on the count of three. One. Yourself, specialist. Sir. You really thought this could work by deliberately disobeying me and by forging orders to issue this mission? You and your team are relieved of duty. Sir. You will be court martialed. Now get to your station and wait there. The MPs are on their way. And get that off the screen. Get it off! thing to transmit and uh, if you have something that you want to say to someone feel free by that I feel differently.
You hear them, Colonel? I don't know what to say. My, my name is Shirley Jones, and I'm 67 years old. I'd like to believe that my husband, George, can hear this. But he can't. He's gone. I see you when I close my eyes. And you are so beautiful. I'll be with you soon. We can save them. You can save them. Please. anyone can hear this, please help us. I have my child, a little boy. I have my little boy. Please. He's only eight years old. Oh, for Christ's sake, please. Please, if anyone can hear this, Please help us. Help us. We can't just let them die. And I don't think you can either. Help me. Help them. Men, we have a duty and that is to protect our people, no matter how dangerous. Sergeant Graham, ready the jets. Yes, sir. Sir, by doing this, you will be disobeying state orders. Besides, what you are talking about is suicide. Are these people really worth the risk? We are not only saving them. We're saving all of us. And you, back to your post, Specialist. Sir. This bitch is heating up. Giving us a hell of a lot of turbulence. They're scared, and so am I. Don't be. Sit down, Rita. Listen. You're gonna make it to your families. We're all gonna make it through this. The only thing I love in this world is a picture of my wife and kids. After I was told they were taken from me, I kept flying. As if somehow I could turn back time and they'd be waiting for me when I landed. I am gonna keep on flying. Not for my family, but for us. For all of us. This is not the time to say your goodbyes or your prayers. This is the time to gather your courage. We are gonna face this thing head on. I can still fly. I can still fly. The only way we beat them is if we relieve the pressure from the magma chamber here. This is where we focus our attack. Easier said than done, Doctor. We won't stand a chance. Several direct hits to the core will rupture enough passages to release the magma from its base into the ocean, killing the eruptions. We just might have a chance. Questions? Yes, sir. 
Good luck. You don't have to do this, sir. We've got plenty of our guys suited up and ready to go. Soldier, these are my men, and I'll lead them how I see fit. Yes, sir. Now get your ass back to B-Doc. is a little bulky, but it flies on props, so they won't have any problems flying through the ash in the air. It's perfect. Yes, they are. They practically jumped at the opportunity, but they're a little uh, extreme, though. Where'd you get these guys? A uh, few of our boys, a couple I know personally, they have a knack for extreme skydiving, so they just called in a favor for the prop. Excellent, Private. Excellent. Thank you, sir. see things my way, right?
Fast. It's your party, Red Wing leader. Roger that, man. Walk on the course. Red Wings, going in hot. Krieger's taking the raft. Let him. I'm sending evac with a few firecrackers. Get on the comm and tell those guys to ready explosives to be stuffed in that plane. What are you, nuts? Yeah. All right, I'm on it. You heard him. Let's plow the road. on board. If that's an affirmative, never leave home without them. Good. I think they may come in handy. It's gonna be close! Look out! Uh -huh. ETA one minute control, ready and packing. Roger that. Red Wing leader, you have less than a minute. Time's up.
distance from this plane. We're gonna have to drop it. Throw your asses up! Yes, sir. We're going in again. Get every soul off that plane. out of here. Come on, you two. We have to go now. We're taking him with us. Come on. We're taking him with us. No. You have to. You have to. It's okay. It's okay.
explosions for that. I'm sorry, I'm excited. <laughs> has reportedly erupted, Tell you. wiping out Pompeii in its entirety. Hell of a job, soldier. Hell of a job. General Riker would be proud. Thank you, sir. No. Thank you, Sergeant. Carry on, Sergeant. Yes, sir. Forget it. Either way. 